Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nadine Beveridge and this is where we discuss all things Airbnb. I really wanted to make this video for you today because recently there was an update by Airbnb but the problem with that update is nobody was notified and I don't even know that Airbnb intended for the update to come out the way it did. The update is a really good addition to the way the platform runs. I really like the ideas that they've shared with us. However, the updates did apply themselves automatically to everybody's listings, which means their listings were no longer accurate because hosts didn't get the opportunity to go in and change the settings for themselves. Airbnb just automatically sent something through that updated all of the settings to one thing so for example if you had a king size bed in your master bedroom it was automatically updated to be a queen size bed and if you had a double bed it was automatically updated to be a queen size bed in other words all of the bed sizes were changed to queen size beds some of the bathrooms were changed from being a private ensuite to being a shared bathroom and I noticed that a lot of listings that were a private room inside someone's house now became a shared bedroom which means that if you were looking for a private room to have to yourself and you clicked into that listing it said oh but you will be sharing this bedroom with the host and other guests and there might have only been one bed in that bedroom so of course it didn't make sense but that would also cost a lot of people receiving a booking from that guest because they're no longer sure of what's going on and to be honest I don't think I would book there either if I didn't know what I was going to get so I made this video to help you to go on into your listing and figure out how to change that automatic update that occurred some things have had their names changed and you might see this when you go on into your listing but I'm going to step you through the process of how to change your options and the settings that were automatically updated by Airbnb so stick around and we will have you gaining all of those bookings in no time at all okay the first thing I want to do here is open up my Airbnb app and head over to listings the first one i'm going to show you is a place that is just a room that i rent out in the house where i live and a good idea is to go to the preview and show you what i found the other day which is that my private room in my townhouse was listed as a shared room in my townhouse two people in one bedroom and both sharing one bed now I don't know about you but that doesn't sound very appealing to me so let's go back into our listing and see what we can do about that. The first thing I want to look at is property and guests because this is where we can adjust how many people are sharing different places. Let's scroll down and take a look at our bedroom. So we've got one bedroom and one bed that all looks correct. But let's have a look at what happens when we go inside the details we've got one bedroom and a private bathroom well we don't have a private bathroom what we've got is a private bedroom with a shared bathroom so let's untick the private bathroom we do have a queen size bed so that's correct and everything else looks pretty good now let's see what we've got one bedroom one queen size bed let's go back to the before screen and that says we have one bed one bathroom and one shared bathroom okay that looks good now who is that bathroom shared with well my one is not shared with me I have my own bathroom in the house so I'll untick that box that was automatically ticked for me it is not shared by family friends or roommates so I'll untick that box it is only shared with other guests so that looks more correct to me the room type is a private room but Airbnb had automatically ticked the shared room I'm not quite sure why that is but there we go 
and is this set up as a dedicated guest space yes it is even though this is a private room inside a house where I live I actually don't have many of my own things here because I often go away and when I do that I rent the entire place out and then it's a three bedroom two bathroom place as an entire place so I don't keep many of my personal belongings so I'll leave that setting as it is and I'll hit the save button let's go back and have a look at the preview again it's turned back to a private room in a townhouse it says two guests one bedroom one bed and one shared bathroom okay that looks a lot better to me and I'm sure it looks a lot better to any guests who are looking for this space as well all right let's go back to another listing and this time I want to show you one that is an entire house so we will go and have a look at the preview of this one and that still says entire house 10 people four bedrooms four beds two baths okay so there are actually five beds in this house so let's dive a little deeper and see what's been changed here too so the first thing I want to do then is go into rooms and spaces because I've noticed that there's a problem here the sleeping arrangements here's where I noticed a problem before is the beds in every room had been changed to a queen size bed so I know that in my first room it does have a king size bed so I edited it back to king size and it does have an attached ensuite bedroom number two I did have to untick this box that said shared with others and if you want to go into bedroom number two you can now edit your photographs and assign them to an area just by hitting the edit button and scroll down to see all of the photos that you had popped onto your Airbnb profile previously you can just add photos by touching them or deselect them and you can see that I previously assigned this photo to this bedroom so I'll hit the save button and head down to the next room the sleeping arrangement for this room is a queen size bed and all the queen size bed sizes seem to remain it's it's only if you had a bed that was of a different size as I did in the master bedroom that they changed it to a queen size bed so go through and check that your bed sizes are correct the other thing they had done is that on my main bathroom which is shared by three of the bedrooms in the house they had ticked that it was a private attached bathroom but it is not it is a shared bathroom so I'll untick that box and bedrooms also even though they are private bedrooms they had ticked that they are shared bedrooms but they most definitely are not this house is an entire house and none of the bedrooms are shared with anyone then we move on to different areas such as the patio and when I came to look at this previously Airbnb said that my patio area was shared with other people which kind of confuses guests when they're looking at your place you know is this a common space is it within a complex well no it's not this is a closed yard that is explicitly for the people who have rented the house then it's just a matter of going through the different areas of your house I haven't assigned any photos to this area yet so an exterior photo would be I guess an aerial view maybe out the back um, the front door I know there's a front door picture somewhere just assign those hit the save button and that's another area that's fully selected bathroom those are suggested photos are usually pretty good hit the two of those and we're done I still need to add that fifth bed so let's head into rooms and spaces the bed is in the living area the living room or the lounge room so let's head down to the living room and go to sleeping arrangements I have got a double bed let's hit done 
Who are these spaces shared with? No one. There we go. Four bedrooms, five beds. Let's go back to our preview now. Entire house, 10 people, four bedrooms, five beds. Excellent. I hope you enjoyed the additional changes that Airbnb did make, like all of the photos and the ability to select certain areas for each photograph. I know other platforms do this already, so it's a really nice addition that Airbnb is doing as well. And of course, your photos are already there, which makes it nice and easy because you uploaded them initially when you set up the listing. If you haven't done already, remember to go into the platform on Airbnb and go to your notification settings and tick all of the boxes to receive notifications from Airbnb. This should be done already, but just go back and double check to make sure that not only do you receive notifications for any updates that come through, but you will also receive group emails from your local host leaders, the local community leaders in Airbnb in your area. And they often have meetup groups so you can get together and discuss these sort of problems with other hosts. And they'll also have information on Facebook groups in your area where you can post your questions and solutions and help each other to run a more successful Airbnb. I love hearing your ideas and remember most of the good ideas come from you guys. You guys are living this every day so whatever you discover, if you have discovered a solution to something, pop it in the comments below so we can all share our ideas and make it a better community for everybody.